There is a trend in the United States that most people are not aware of. It's the fact that more and more people are living in their cars or car camping. The reason is saving money. In this video, we'll talk about how some people have chosen to utilize airport parking lots as a place to sleep. I've lived in my car for two and a half years. I gave away everything I owned and moved into my Prius as a lifestyle choice to live a more minimalist lifestyle and to have the freedom to travel more and the time to pursue my goals. However, when you live in your car or your car camping, meaning that you use your car as a hotel room so you can travel more cheaply, one of the big things is figuring out where to sleep. And one of the options that people are using is airports. The reason is that airports typically have a lot of parking that you can pay for by the hour or by the day. In fact, most airports, at least in major cities, have multiple options for paid parking that can range anywhere from less than $5 to over $100 a night. When looking at sleeping in your car in a airport parking lot, the key things that you want to do is go online, check out the parking page for the airport, and look at their different options. For example, the city of Denver, where I've lived in the past, has multiple large short-term and long-term parking lots. The short-term parking lots are very expensive because they're only meant for people to pull up and stay for usually minutes to pick up and drop people off. The option if you're planning on overnight is the long-term parking. That's where you get the lowest rates, which can sometimes be less than $10 a night. So what you want to do is look at what long-term parking lots are available, check their rules and make sure there's no explicit rules about not sleeping in your car, and then check the different options based upon price, and look at the details about hourly rates and daily rates. That'll give you an idea of what the total cost is going to be based upon how long you think you'll be there. The good thing is, these parking lots, because they're paid, are usually fenced in and relatively safe, at least safer than parking in your car and sleeping overnight on a side street or in an abandoned parking lot. It is also important to make sure that wherever you sleep in your car, that safety comes first. And the most important safety feature that I found is simply making sure you're not visible while you're asleep in your car. In addition to simply wanting to have privacy, you put yourself at risk if you're asleep with no awareness of your surroundings, but people are walking by your car and seeing you inside. That can become a very dangerous situation. In fact, I recommend that if you live in your car or you're considering car camping, that you Watch my other videos on where I talk about the measures that I've tried to keep myself hidden while asleep in my car at night. In fact, as I've said, I've been living in my car for over two and a half years, and I've never had anybody knock on my car window and ask me why I'm there or try to break into my car. That could just be luck, but I've also taken a lot of precautions to try to keep myself safe. Since the purpose of these videos is try to provide you with helpful information, I'll leave some additional thoughts and ideas in the description section below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. I work hard to try to respond to everybody's questions and comments. And if you have any topics that you'd like me to discuss in future videos, please leave those ideas as well. In the meantime, stay safe and I will see you in the next video.